Mr Speaker, week after week I have called on this Prime Minister to resign. I have been met with a wall of noise from the Tory benches. I thought they were trying to shout me down, but all this time... time, Mr Speaker, it turns out that 41% of them have been cheering me on. Because, Mr Speaker, let's be clear, at least the numbers don't lie. 41% of his own MPs have no confidence in him. 66 of MPs across the House don't support him. And 97% of Scottish MPs want the Minister for the Union shown the door. Duck Prime Minister presiding over a divided party in a disunited kingdom. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. how does the Prime Minister expect to continue when even unionist leaders in Scotland won't back them? Yeah. Prime Minister. I, I, want, I want to thank my, uh, uh, right, the Right Honourable Gentleman for his characteristic uh, warm words. Uh, and, uh, just, uh, and, uh, and actually, Mr. Speaker, I, wa- I want to say that the, the biggest and most powerful and effective advocate of the United Kingdom over the last uh, time that I've been in, 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 in has been that man there. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know how long he's going to last uh, here as, as leader of the S- SNP. The Scottish Council of long may, uh, long may he rest in place, Mr. Speaker. He is the Araldite that's keeping our kingdom uh, together. I, I thank him for what he's doing. Well, I, I can see. I can see to the prime minister. I can say to the Prime Minister that I'll be standing shoulder to shoulder with our First Minister as we take our country to independence. Yeah. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is acting like Monty Python's Black Knight, running around declaring it's just a flesh wound. And no amount, no amount of delusion and denial will save the Prime Minister from the truth. This story won't go away until he goes away. He wants his independence for his country. Our country is independent, yeah. uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, our country is independent. Uh, he, then he tried 48 times to reverse it to the, 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 the opposition. And the only way that independence would ever be reversed is if we had the disaster, Mr Speaker, of a Labour-SNP coalition to take us back into the EU.